Could your next meal come out of a 3D printer? No chef, no kitchen, just a machine and some digital magic. Today, we're diving into the wild and tasty world of 3D printed food. It's real and it's happening faster than you think. Let's break down how it works, what's already possible, and what the future might taste like. So, how does 3D food printing actually work? At its core, it's about creating food layer by layer, kind of like how a regular 3D printer works, but with edible ingredients. One of the most common methods is extrusion. This technique works a lot like a super precise piping bag. Soft or pureed ingredients, like chocolate, mashed vegetables, dough, or even cheese, are pushed through a nozzle and deposited in layers to form shapes, patterns, or even full dishes. Another method is binder jetting. In this case, food powders, like sugar, flour, or starch, are selectively combined with a liquid binder, such as water or oil, to create solid edible structures. This method is particularly useful for creating delicate textures or detailed designs, especially sweets and snacks. And there's also an indirect but creative use of additive manufacturing, printing custom molds. Some chefs and food designers use 3D printers to create silicone or plastic molds into which they pour traditional ingredients like mousse, jelly, or chocolate. Three D food printing isn't just a lab experiment; it's already being used in some pretty cool ways. In the pasta world, Barilla and Blue Rhapsody have explored using three D printers to create pasta shapes that are impossible to make by hand or with traditional molds. Think intricate spirals, logo shaped pasta, or personalized designs made just for you. Then there are companies like Biflow and Food Inc. These innovators are working with chefs to create high-end dining experiences where every course is printed or enhanced with 3D printed elements. Everything from appetizers to edible garnishes and even printed tableware. The Sugar Lab, meanwhile, uses binder jetting to create sugar cubes with original shapes and colors, taking creativity in the culinary world to the next level. This technology is already making a difference in healthcare. 3D printed food is helping people with dysphagia a condition that makes swallowing difficult. By printing soft foods into familiar shapes, it makes meals both safer and more dignified for patients. So, is this something you could actually use in your kitchen? Technically, yes. Consumer 3D food printers are available, starting at around $4,000 to $6,000. They mainly handle soft foods like purees, doughs, or pastes, and are ideal for pastry chefs, caterers, or food artists. Restaurants and culinary schools are already adopting them to create unique presentations, logos on edible surfaces, or customized desserts. In the near future, we could see compact, affordable models for home use. Imagine printing custom pancakes with your name on them for breakfast. The future of 3D food printing goes way beyond novelty. It has the potential to address real global challenges. For starters, it could play a huge role in reducing food waste, which means you can repurpose surplus produce or food scraps into entirely new creations. There's also a lot of promise in personalized nutrition. Imagine a printer that could prepare meals tailored to your exact dietary needs, whether you're managing allergies, training for a marathon, or just trying to eat healthier. In short, 3D printed food is no longer just a fun idea for foodies and tech nerds. It's on track to revolutionize how we eat, cook, and even think about food.